Good morning. You're watching Amuseaholics, and today we're back at Alton Towers. Yes, Oktoberfest. Yes. My favourite event. Finally, Oktoberfest time. One of our all-time favourite events. Alton Towers have always had a good Oktoberfest event. This year, things have changed a little bit. So yeah, we're looking forward to heading out and having a look and seeing what they've done with it. There's going to be new decorations, different shows. Um, everything's been moved to a single location this year. Which I'm a bit sad about. But... Yeah, we did like our uh, little undercover area, but supposedly the main area has now got cover as well, so um, we won't be losing out on protection from the rain. But so far, looking at the weather's pretty good anyway, isn't it? Yeah, for once, yeah. <laughs> for once. The, the last couple of years we've been, it's rained every time we've came, so... Yeah, Hopefully so Hopefully it stays dry. Fingers crossed we get an extra nice day today. <laughs> but yeah, no, we're really looking forward to it, getting back on all our favourite rides as well. Shortly we're going to head over to sort of 13 and Rita and try and get on those. Um, usually they're a little bit quieter first thing in the morning, so yeah, we're looking forward to having a walk through the park and uh, getting on those shortly and all of our other favourite rides and enjoying a day here at the Alton Towers Resort. Yeah, let's get going. Well, we just made it through the turnstiles of Alton Towers during the Oktoberfest event. So they've got all the bunting up. Some nice displays, you've got the new signage, fan parts, pretzels. I love pretzels! <laughs> Go on, Kelly, pick a pretzel. Oh, is it made of wax? <laughs> Looks nicely decorated there. The latest in a long line of froggy outfits. I've got their October Fest best on today. Don't seem to be shooting any water though, which is a shame. Still nice to see them dressed up. Oktoberfest bears out, giving an excellent photo opportunity. They've got this awesome decoration over at the front now. It's looking way better decorated up the front than it was last year. They seem to have pulled out all the stops to make it feel a lot more festival -y. Yeah, I really like the maypole. It looks really cool, actually, the, the, the whole maypole effect. Yeah, it looks really, really nice, doesn't it? Yeah, looking good there with all the bunting. You can see you've got the, the grand entrance there. Have a quick wander down, have a quick look. Over by the main entrance now, on the right hand side, you've got a board with the show times. It's always useful to see. Got this awesome inflated entrance with the two pretzels either side, on both sides as well. Let's have a quick look around while it's still nice and quiet. It just feels so much more like a festival than it did last year. Um, they have unfortunately sacrificed the, the other area uh, over by. Um, the Pirates attraction and so on. Uh, that uh, area that's undercover is no longer being used for Oktoberfest, which is a shame. But um, yeah, it's it's paid off in some ways because this area is looking absolutely fantastic. Got all the food vendors prepping for a little bit later on. Several bars. I really like this new undercover um, area they've invested in. It's, uh, it's absolutely massive in person. You don't realise how big it is until you actually see it with your own eyes. Got the bar over there as well. More eateries, churros, coffee, chips. Lovely and quiet in here at the moment, but it's going to be absolutely bustling later on. Yeah, they, they seem to have really improved this area on previous years. Um, you know, only having one area does have its downsides, but to actually have such a really nice area for this event is going to be brilliant. Got a quick pop inside the seating area now, under the tent. So you've got the main stage there in the distance. Wow, look at that. Loving the reefs. Plenty of tables here, there's going to be loads of seating. And we're going to try and get ourselves a spot quite close to the front a little bit later on we we'll check out all the Oktoberfest entertainment. Disappointed they've reduced the number of acts this year, but um, at least our favourite Robert is going to be here performing, so we're looking forward to that. And it's looking like it's going to be a beautiful day too. Looks like they've got a uh, inflatable axe throwing going on this year, amongst some of the other traditional games. And over by the other entrance on the other side, they've got these awesome Stein props. Yeah, the whole area is just looking absolutely fantastic and the, the sort of weather is really helping as well all over by the lake. Looking fantastic, looking forward to getting back down here and looking at the entertainment later on today. Passing by Mutiny Bay now and they've even got Oktoberfest music playing over here as well. 
Got these lovely little charms around the outside, the autumn leaves. Lots of great ornaments for photo opportunities. The Alton Towers beer kegs, so they can keep up with us later. Just walking up towards the towers now, we've just noticed this multi whip and sundaes. Haven't seen that before. I'm going to do some nice ice creams there. There's also some good places to sit, which is pretty nice. The Prims and Prosecco there too. Look at the size of this seagull. He's been having uh, everyone's ice creams by the look of it. Oh, that little stand in that, in that restaurant area looks really nice. Here. It does, yeah, it looks good. Let's head on up towards the towers. Beautiful views of the towers through the trees. We're going to head up towards the dark forest. So still hear the uh, Oktoberfest music pumping out the speakers alongside us. So we're walking down the side path to the left of where we were just walking towards Rita and we can see there's a new structure been erected here. I wonder if this is going to be part of the new compound scare maze that we've seen advertised. It certainly looks quite compoundy to me. Got this sort of domed roof and the shipping container on the side. I made it over to the 13 entrance. Current posted queue time is 20 minutes. We'll head in now and see how accurate that is. The views of Rita. So we're just at the merge point where the fast track and single rider queues merge in. And speaking of single rider, I don't remember them having single rider before. Now there's a whole separate queue line for it. When you get to this point, you can separate off and head up the right hand side of the stairs. Making our way down to the creepy 13 station. Always been a big fan of the theming on this one. Hey, always great views of Rita as you come off 13. We waited less than 20 minutes, so the advertised time was uh, spot on, if not overestimated. So that's fantastic. That's what we like to see. Queue time on Rita's jumped up to 40 minutes. We decided we're going to uh, bypass it for now. We're going to uh, go and have a go on the Curse on Manor and then maybe go and check out some of the entertainment while it's nice and quiet. Walking alongside the towers now. Still no sign of Hex, the Legend of the Towers reopening. I know it's been undergoing a lot of refurbishment in an attempt to preserve the attraction and keep it more reliable going forwards. But yeah, uh, we were originally promised, or at least it was implied, that it would reopen this season. But that's now looking extremely unlikely. Loving the uh, alternative Alton Towers music. It's a shame the rest of the park's not decorated, but I can understand them wanting to concentrate the, the uh, efforts on one area, just to make it more detailed. So we decided to give the ice cream parlor a try, didn't we? Yes. Over by the lake. I've gone for a Biscoff Sunday. Mm. Looks very nice. And uh, Kaylee's gone for an Eaton Mess. Again, looks very good. But um, quite expensive, $7.95 each. So. Here we are in the courtyard area. We've just popped in to use the toilet. And you can see they've got another Oktoberfest here this year. Just as I said, it's all uh, in the main area now. Canopy though, yeah, they do seem to replace the canopy. The other one was getting a bit leaky, so I think that was the right decision. That this new cream, off-white, beigey kind of coloured canopy. This one looks like it might not leak, which is good. But yeah, no Oktoberfest in this area this year. Legend Give you a beer can of toast. I'm close it, I'm close it, they're gonna this guy. You grab your beers, you grab your steins, you grab your schnapps, you grab your wines, you raise them high up in the air to your friends, and you sing. Oh, stop. Make sure love 
Yeah. 
On papa, on papa, everyone knows They all suppose what they want to suppose When they sing on papa I hope for a house I swipe so far Ah, thank you my friend Backwards to the right, to the left Stand up, sit down To the right, to the left Lean forwards, lean backwards To the right, to the left Stand up Sit down. Come on, big camera, everybody. Lean forward, lean backwards to the right, to the left. Stand up, sit down to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Lean forward, lean backwards to the right, to the left. Stand up, sit down to the right, to the left. Lean forward, lean backwards to the right, to the left. Stand up, sit down. Find the tables, please. out of the Oktoberfest area now. I think it's about time we had ourselves a go on the Smiler. It's been a great day so far. We've probably been enjoying the entertainment. You can see over in the distance, Daz Games Panic Reloaded. One of the Scarefest attractions coming soon. Spinball was are up in the distance as well. So yeah, limited rides today due to Oktoberfest festivities, enjoying the entertainment. It looks a bit like the Smiler may have just broken down and just have reopened. It looks like the queue might have been closed. The pre-queue just outside is full. And I can see them sort of filing in now. Looks like they might have just reopened it after a uh, temporary closure for safety reasons. Looks like we're alright. Queues all the way down here, even for the RAP fast track and single rider. Just making our way up now. I may have timed this incredibly well or incredibly badly. I guess we'll find out shortly. There he goes.
So unfortunately the smiler availability is pretty bad today. Um, I had just arrived um, and it looked like there'd just been a shutdown. People queuing outside in the pre-queue outside the main queue. And they were just going back in, so I thought, brilliant. Rice has reopened, brilliant timing. Unfortunately, that turned out to not be the case. Turned out that actually, a few minutes later it broke down again. So yeah, I'm not sure if there were some issues with the smiler at the moment, but uh, for me, right a bit of availability on that one even. Not particularly good, so be aware. Smiler might be a good one to get out of the way early on in the morning, if you are intent on doing it. So we're here down the side of sunny Mutiny Bay. So a top tip, the courtyard that was previously used for October Fest events may no longer be hosting any kind of October Fest events. However, the bar is still open. And uh, I highly recommend you come here to get your booze because you can use your Merlin Pass discount if you have one. If you don't have one, it doesn't really make much difference. But if you do have a Merlin Pass, this bar accepts the discount. You can save yourself 20% if you have a gold or a platinum pass. And then just carry it back over to the Oktoberfest. Last thing, 20 to 7, unfortunately, Smiler is still closed. It is not a good day for the Smiler. But you know, we'll head down, see if Olivia's still running. Out of board, Oblivion. Here we go, heading on board A2 from row ride. Good to see it. So, Smiler still closed when I came back for a second ride. Disappointing, but Oblivion didn't fail to thrill. What a fantastic ride. Short but sweet, that's how we always describe it. Brilliant ride, and yeah, had a fantastic time. Now we're going to head back over to the beer cellar, Grossa Beer Cellar, and uh, yeah, enjoy the final entertainment of the night.
Well, what a fantastic day we've had here at Alton Towers Oktoberfest. Yeah, um, I, I've really enjoyed it, but I, I do feel like the um, stage is a bit sad, actually, because Robert on the small stage is really more intimate than on the main stage, which I'll, you lose that. You, you do lose it. I mean, it is kind of... It, it does come across, but not the same effect, really, as the intimate stage, and it's a bit sad. Yeah, so obviously Robert Burton, the legend that he is, on his accordion, fantastic last year, on the small stage, in the courtyard, yeah. super intimate gig, nice small space, this year on the grand stage, but you know what, I feel like he pulled it off. The axe this year is still absolutely fantastic, oh, yeah. we still had a fantastic time. The axe though are so good, you know, like on the main stage they are so... Worth watching. You've got the like the line back with the with the guitarist and that. Oh, they are so good, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Um, what's the what they call them? Party, yeah, uh, party pilot, I believe. Party called. pilot, that's it. Party pilot. You need, if you don't come here for sure, watch them on YouTube because they are fantastic. I tell yeah, you what, yeah, absolutely great. They band. are so good. Great band, yes. thoroughly enjoyed them. Obviously, the um party were fantastic as well. Yeah. Tanzan band. Good old sing along, all fantastic entertainment here at Alton Towers. We had a fantastic time, and you know what? Been on hardly any rides today, but you know what? We've enjoyed it because Oktoberfest is about having a drink, having and a the, pretzel, and, and, and having the events, isn't it? having the atmosphere, yeah. having a chat with people, and then just enjoying the entertainment. And it's been spot on, hasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we thoroughly enjoyed it. We recommend Oktoberfest unreservedly because it's always such a great event. And the atmosphere is just, you know, a party, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's also got the roads, I, I, I get that, but for us, it's more the events, because we, we come here all the time, every day, you know. It's, yeah, we come it's, here quite often, and it's really it's quite nice. Often for us, but for, for us, it's the events, and that's what really makes this place, because the events are so good. That's why we keep coming back, because. That's right, October really Fest. makes it for us, you know. That's it, October Fest has been a great event. We thoroughly enjoyed it, and you know what? We recommend you come here too. You know, grab a beer, grab a Coca-Cola, grab a pretzel, grab a brat first. Enjoy yourself Coffee because it's been even, great. You know, any, anything, it? just, you know. Join in, have some fun. The is fun. That's it, join in, have you some know, fun. It is. So yeah, October Fest at Alton Towers, fantastic. A little bit disappointed about the courtyard area not being used this year, but you know what? did a great job of making the main arena a superb event. Yeah. Undercover and really nice. Yeah, really, really cool. I, still, I like the fact that it's, all, it's mostly undercover this year because last year it was... Okay, they did have two venues, which is kind of undercover and not undercover, but like, last year it was like... It was a, a bit undercover and not undercover, so it was a bit of half and half. So this year they made a real big effort to have the main stage Fully undercover, which is good actually, because at least you get the cover from the weather, you know. Yeah, that's right. The We're new... in the UK, so... <laughs> that's right. The, the weather the... is what it is. Yeah, absolutely. Know. And the new cover is really great on the main stage, and it really makes Oktoberfest. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel, and uh, we really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments about Oktoberfest at Alton Towers, then drop those in the comments below. We'll try and answer those as soon as we can. And uh, yeah, until next time, we hope you get, get out and explore, explore and music. Some more. See you next time.